Hey everybody and welcome to the next episode of Adam and Simon Bullshit Busters. I'm Simon Batchelor. I am Adam Bastock. And this week we are going to be comparing Yoast SEO and Rank Math, the two titans of WordPress SEO plugins. So if you are running a WordPress website, then these are two plugins that you can use. Yoast SEO has been around almost as long as WordPress and Rank Math is the new um, contender that has arrived on the market. So in this podcast, we're going to be breaking down what makes them uh, the same, what makes them different, and what our thoughts are on when you should use both. So to start us off, Adam, do you just want to give us a, a very brief rundown of exactly what this SEO plugin is that we're talking about? Yeah, so like with any SEO plugin, there's a few core things that it's trying to do. And it's basically trying to make it easier for you to edit the SEO meta titles and to give the, the, the SEO structure and the architecture of the site a bit more, give you a bit more control over the architecture of the site. So to take an example with Yoast, for example, uh, saying example too many times now, but <laughs> with Yoast, if you scroll down to the bottom of a blog post, you will then have the SERP snippet preview area where you can see what your post would look like in Google search, the search engine results page. And then you can edit the title of the meta description in that to make it look nicer and more more human friendly and readable. And then you can go into the settings of Yoast to also do that with category pages or tag pages, etc. Those are areas of the website that would normally require technical knowledge to try and access and to customize. So all of these SEO plugins are trying to make it easier for you to access and customize technical areas of the website. Where this is where the Yoast versus Rank Math thing is coming in because Rank Math really starts opening up more of those options to you and goes above and beyond what Yoast does out of the box. By out of the box, I mean free, essentially. Um, Yoast does have a very powerful paid plugin, which I think is $99 a year, something like that. So it's not incredibly expensive, but it is paid. Uh, whereas Rank Math seems to be doing a lot more of that heavy lifting for free. To give an example of that, just very quickly, Simon's going to dive into the details in a minute, but one of my favorite uh, features of it and why we're discussing it now is that it will automate alt text for you uh, on images. So if you've got a e-commerce store or you've got a very image heavy uh, blog or, or website, on each of those images there is a, a thing called the alt text, which you might be familiar with. That alt text is the alternative text for if that image cannot be loaded on the page. So if you're on screen readers or if the page breaks or whatever, you want, be, want to be able to load in some sort of text that describes that image and you want descriptive text. Now, historically, when I've been doing audits for WordPress and WooCommerce, this is a very common thing that I notice is wrong and that sites will have several thousand images that don't have any alt text whatsoever. With Rank Math, this is why it's a bit of a game changer for me is that you can quite easily go into the little field within the settings and add in a, a template or a not a formula but a uh, a set of parameters it's not that technical but you'll go right i want every image on the website to follow the format of file mm. name plus data date i uploaded it or maybe it will be the product name or the page name plus another attribute of some sort i'm not sure exactly what the details are you can uh, mm. choose from that but it's enough to give you that flexibility yeah. where you go call every image alt text on my site the file name hit enter, and it just rolls out across the entire site, and that's your alt text fixed, in yeah. theory. Whereas previously that would have required a developer and several hundred, maybe several thousand pounds of development time. Or someone in your team to do it all manually. Um, yeah, so it's all just costing you by worse. the hour, right? You're just you're paying someone to change it. I think that's a, that's a key, because although you may not have noticed alt text before, you might not might be thinking, well, what, what is this alt text thing? It's like, well, the fact that most people don't know what it is is why it's actually quite a strong ranking factor, because mm. not many people know about it. There's not many people gaming it. So actually it's one of those little little wins you can get right with seo is you get the basics sorted alt text being one of them and it just sorts it all out for you so it is a, it's a very powerful tool in that sense i think that's the, that's a good way of explaining it is that the, these tools do help you build a really solid foundation of seo it's not going to be the be all and end all but they make it much easier for you to build those foundations are there any other sets of features in rank math that you're aware of simon that's worth ticking off 
Um, I think it it behaves very similarly to Yoast in the actual post and pages. So if you're on a page and you scroll down to the bottom, it basically looks the same. It's like it gives you a score. It doesn't use the traffic light system, but it basically does go red, yellow, red, yellow, green. It gives you a score out of 100 and it tells you what you can do to up your score. Mm -hmm. So again, it's that same thing. It's almost like gamifying the page saying, you know, if you add this keyword into your into your title, then I'll give you more points. And all yeah. that's doing is trying to get you to comply with as many of the things that it thinks that Google wants to see in order to rank. So it can help you spot some really obvious errors that you wouldn't have seen had you not in installed either of these plugins. They both do this really, really well. And mm. I think, I mean, Yoast works with basically everything in WordPress it because it is almost part of WordPress. It's been around for so long. Whereas Rank Math is pretty, very, very new. It's very shiny. It's got some bugs that are being fixed, but it is not perfect in its code. And some of the things that they're working on and implementing are actually really useful. So in a previous episode, we discussed um, needing to move away from Google Analytics. Um, so do go and watch the episode if you haven't seen it to understand a bit more about that. But when you're considering an option for moving away from Google Analytics, you might want to consider Rank Math because it does on-server analytics, which means that it's creating its own record of how many impressions you've had, um, how many times your uh, keywords have resulted in traffic arriving on your website, uh, pages that are going up in the results, pages that are going down in the results. So it's mm. almost doing a little bit of what tools like Moz do um, you know, or paid for tools that track your performance in search engines. Again, it's doing some of that for you. Something that Yoast isn't yet doing. I would imagine they've got a development team working on it right now. Um, but yeah, that, that was definitely one of the things. I think for e-commerce and the slightly higher end, higher performing sites where you're maybe taking thousands of pounds a week up or more, Rank Math isn't going to cut it. it. It still is a tool for the sort of the brochure website, the lead gen, the very small e-commerce store, maybe taking a couple of hundred pounds a week. It's a yeah. very good entry level tool that covers so many bases and ticks so many boxes for $60 a year. It's, um, it's an absolute no brainer at that level. It's so comprehensive for what it unlocks and gives you. Um, yeah, I can, I can see it cleaning up really amongst the, that size website. Yeah, I was going to say, and I think I think we're in a position where it's going to be a couple of months or a year or so before Rank Math, if it continues on its current path, does supplant Yoast in terms of all those bigger sites that mm. need that stability. The main concern at the minute is because it's such a new entrant, we don't really know the stability of it and if it will break websites that often because of the complexity it offers new users. Yeah. Um, I probably sit at a slightly different part of the fence to you, Simon, where I think it was probably okay. Um, but I'm not sure, you know, I'm still very cautious about it. But hmm. I, I think that it's worth testing, perhaps, if you've got an appetite for risk. But if you're, you know, if you are doing a lot of money, it's probably best to stick with what you know. And, and that is SEO, yeah. it, it, you know, yeah. especially if you, and it, I suppose the thing is, is if you are doing more money, you are probably likely to, to pay for Yoast premium which then gives you a lot of the access to, to rank math that you don't, that you, don't, you know, already gives you access to the rank math yeah. tools. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know, it's, it's an interesting one. And I think this is where it's very difficult to know whether to recommend it or not is neither tool is better than the other. Mm. I'd say that rank math is, as you say, more appropriate for, for starting out sites for the yeah. lower conversion value sites, because it will do a lot of the work for you that you otherwise wouldn't be able to do. But there might come a point where you're doing slightly more transactional value and you need the stability more so than you need the SEO. Um, yeah. well, the SEO quick wins, as it were. You know, you've probably grown to a point where you've got someone to, to come in and manage that for you a little bit more. So, yeah. Yes. I, think, yeah. I don't know if that helps at all now. But well, I mean, I we, use, we use a theme on our websites called Enfold and we know that it isn't officially compatible. There's a, in the Enfold support right. forum, they're saying Rank Math isn't yet fully supported. Right, so, I see. like, yes, you can put it on, but, you know, if there's any bugs, we're not going to be able to fix it and they're not going to fix it. So, yeah, okay. you know, if that's important to you, hold your horses. Whereas it's fully compatible with Yoast because Yoast has been around for ages. However, they've, uh, Rank Math have just announced that if you're using Divi, it's fully compatible with Divi. 
So in that sense, fill your boots. If you're running e-commerce, if you're running WooCommerce, Divi, then Rank Math is fully compatible. So go for it. Fine. You know, then then your stability is there. So do your homework. Uh, make sure that you're because any plugin you add to WordPress potentially could completely turn your website off, completely mm -hmm. lock you out, everything, reboot the server, if the developer misses a comma in an update. Now Yoast did this. About three years ago, they pushed it and it's missing a semicolon and it totally white screened all WordPress that had auto update switched on. Jeez. Unbelievable. Anyway, they very quickly backtracked Excellent. and rolled it back and all this business, but it certainly highlighted for those users who didn't have a good backup schedule in place. So yeah. I think to sort of summarize, really, Rank Math and Yoast SEO are both going to tell you if you are making really obvious, silly mistakes that you would be completely blind to as a website user, administrator, whatever, you wouldn't be able to see them. Both of those plugins are going to tell you, you're making a silly mistake here. Fix this. It's really obvious. Do this. It will help. Both plugins are going to help you make your pages perform better. Both yeah. plugins are going to make your posts perform better. Your products, you know, they're both going to get you to this point. And then Rank Math is going to go the extra level because it's going to tell you how it's performing in the search pages. It's going to tell you what pages are doing well, what's not doing well. It's going to give you on-site analytics. Um, it's also going to help you manage your 404 errors. So it's going to be like, yeah. it's also going to help you with redirections and it's going to give you um, more control over what you do with your category pages. So that... It, that's up here. I, I can imagine the team at Yoast have finally woken up the developer who's been sleeping in the corner for six months, who's <laughs> supposed to be innovating and said, look, we're being overtaken. I can't imagine yeah. they're going to rest on their laurels here. So um, if you are in a high turnover e-commerce environment, I would not jump to change. If, however, you've got a you know five to 10 page brochure website, then give it a go because there's loads to be gained. Um, and we will obviously put links to both in the description of the podcast. If you have used Rank Math and you'd like to let us know uh, what you think about it, how you're getting on with it, if you've found anything that you would like to let us know about, do let us know in the comments below. And as always, you can connect with us and learn more in our LinkedIn group. So just search for Adam plus Simon on LinkedIn and you will find us. Do remember to give us a follow wherever you're listening or watching to this podcast. Thanks very much for listening and watching, and we'll see you next time. See you soon. Bye. Just drop the job.